had 27 different institutions from all around the world and each of them is running their own map system competition. This weekend we've had 15 final teams and each team is, um, has chosen a social or environmental challenge uh, to map. While they're doing a pitch here, we're not judging who has the best pitch. We're judging who has the best research and understanding the problem landscape of current solutions and the gaps. Although this is a competition and there are obviously winners, um, it's actually more about the process of the students learning and understanding um, a social or environmental issue that they really care about. So for our project, I think the mapping the system enabled me to just put my foot on the brake. I think I would have gone full stem ahead with an idea that I thought, yep, this was, this was the lever for change. Mapping the system has really forced me to stop um, and think about, okay, we're going to have the biggest social impact with our startup Luna Baby. We really need to understand what are all of the players at hand here, how are they interacting um, and considering those moving forward. I think this process has been really um, transformative. Um, it's definitely been something that has been very different from what we're normally conventionally used to in, within the university setting. It's also been very transformative for ourselves too, as young people who are still trying to figure out what we want to do with our lives. Um, seeing this whole other world of innovators and entrepreneurs and change makers um, coming together within one institution to create change for the world has been really phenomenal for us. Absolutely, it's been a better approach because I feel like in this way we know how to be more impactful and we know not to just be solutions driven people but problems driven people and not only drive things based on trying to fix a solution. Yeah. Yes. On a team level, I think coming together to understand the data that we're re researching, uh, distilling that into a form in which we can actually present to other people has been really fun, really exciting. It's been challenging. It took, took a lot of time and effort from everybody on the team, everyone on our team is really hard working. Um, and then on an individual level, I'd say I've, I've gotten everything out of it. I, I've got, in the past six months, seven months, I've gone from knowing nothing about a lot of the type of work that we're doing to, I think, getting a really good skill set that I'll be able to apply to wherever I go. The process for me has been really revealing. I felt like I'm so, uh, I've been so immersed in the issue for so long, I didn't realize there was so much that I needed to learn. So I'd say that aspect of it was also the most fulfilling because I really got a better understanding of, of the problem that we looked at. With this project, and in terms of this project, I think looking at the whole system has sort of shown me how complex it really is and how much more I have to learn. And to have the opportunity to be here and be able to continue to do that is just something that I'm really looking forward to now that I've learned to think in a very different, but a very, very positive way. Well, I think our whole team feels that although we didn't win, the real prize was being here in Oxford with just this, this caliber of people in this competition. What we're really hoping is that by the end of this weekend, the students are going to go away with more ideas, more inspiration, more connections that's actually going to help them make a difference in the world. Yeah, the quality of the, the competitors was outstanding. I'm really excited to see where they take all of their work because they brought in incredible value and incredible research and there's a lot that's gone on behind the scenes. So yeah, we were really impressed as judges with, with the work that they brought together. The big winner, big congratulations to Mount Royal University. <laughs>